Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. First of all, I wanted to extend my thanks and appreciation uh, to uh, Pete from uh, Illustration by Pete, a YouTube channel, for the kind shout out he had for me on his YouTube channel a couple of weeks back. I wanted to uh, give a shout out back to him and thank him kindly again for being such a great guy. So if you are into art and watching artists doing their thing over here on uh, YouTube, please check him out. Great guy with a very interesting style that I enjoy watching. Link in the description below. Sorry Pete for uh, the delay, but because I am ahead with uh, three to four weeks on my videos, it took a while to get back to you, buddy. All right, with this speed out of the way, uh, get ready because I am coming at you with another titanium fountain pen that it's coming from China. The only difference is that this one, for a change, has a brand name attached to it. The fountain pen in question is Titaner Pencil Series Fountain Pen or Titaner. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think I'm going to stick with uh, Titaner. I have purchased uh, the fountain pen sometime last year in the fall. And at that time, I paid around 104 Canadian dollars with free shipping from AliExpress. The pen uh, did not come anodized, so if you do not like the colors you are seeing, uh, don't despair. This is not what you will be getting. This uh, was me playing around with uh, my DC power variable uh, supply unit, trying new things on how to anodize uh, titanium. Having a quick look at the fountain pen, as you can see, the design of it is pretty much a straight uh, tube, as most of the industrial design fountain pens that I actually really enjoy. Uh, the only difference is, like I mentioned, this is a fully titanium uh, body construction. Um, the clip is titanium as well, and uh, as such, it's not very flexible, however, it is usable compared with other titanium fountain pens that I have. And the um, barrel is uh, pretty simple, just as straight as uh, the cap. At the end, however, we do have uh, some threads where you can actually post the cap and a cap. And under this cap, we have a window breaker thingy, which I like. It's kind of cool to have it there. And I like even more that there is a cap for it. So. It's hidden away, and in case you'll ever need it, it's there. Personally, I find it uh, gimmicky, but kind of cool in the same time. Going back at the cap, we have a full finial. That thing doesn't open. And uh, as I mentioned, the clip, the clip sits a little bit above the ba the cap. As you can see, like if I tap it, it does make a noise. It's not unpleasant, or at least I don't find it annoying. And if we're doing a quick shirt test, it slides very easily over the cloth. No issues there. This is what you see out of the shirt. Now the pen uh, does grab a little bit on the, the cloth. So I think having it in your shirt, it's uh, it will be okay. However, because this is not very flexible, it won't accommodate a lot of pockets. Removing the cap, it's very simple and very quickly. It's kind of a, under half a turn from what I can tell. It's very quick and the threads are actually very smooth. And uh, the threads are very small and fairly minimal. Nice, almost straight section that uh, flares out towards the, the end of the nib, or, or better said, towards the nib. And in my case, I have a titanium Bach number no. five nib. This does not come with the fountain pen. This is something that I upgraded to because I like these uh, nibs. And since I have a titanium pen, it's nice to have a titanium nib. As far as I know, the seller doesn't offer the option to have a titanium nibs. This is something that I actually literally purchased uh, separate. It does come with a silver-like color Bach number no. 5 uh, uh, non-titanium nib. And again, a very interesting uh, feed that comes uh, by default with these uh, Bach nibs. 
and uh, that's it nothing much having a look inside the cap pretty simple very clean very smooth well machined no complaints in there and uh, i really like uh, how the threads are looking especially after i did the anodizing and the barrel opens very nice very smooth as well takes a little bit longer to uh, undo it uh, compared with the cap but it's again just as smooth and if you want you can actually oops just be careful not to grab it from here and make sure you grab it from here when you open the barrel and he has a nice tall collar as a support for the converter converter comes included with the phantom man which is really nice and functions very nicely very smoothly no complaints in there and having a quick look inside uh, the barrel just as the cap it's very well machined very nice and smooth in there absolutely no complaints so there's definitely attention to detail and um, i really think that for the price you're paying you're getting a pretty well built uh, fountain pen in hand the fountain pen feels actually very good very pleasant i like the weight i like the length that it has uncapped and uh, it's perfect size for me and my hand and uh, balance wise it's pretty much in the middle of the pen which is nice i don't think there will be any issues and as mentioned at the beginning the cap does pose very nice and secure makes it for a very lengthy uh, fountain pen for drawing might be kind of cool because it gives you a lot of hand position and uh, moving your hand on the pen for different uh, type of uh, lengthy strokes and um, yeah i don't feel it top heavy and i think i could definitely use it posted as well without an issue balance wise it does shift a little bit towards the top but i don't find it that badly even when i hold it here maybe if you have smaller hands that might be a little bit uh top heavy and a little bit heavier to to wield the, the pen around but personally i do not dislike it the only thing that i find that odd is the position of the clip that doesn't align up with the nib no matter how you turn it you will always uh, be positioned there i don't know if all the pens are like that i don't know if that's done intentional or is just left to chance which in that case would kind of suck because you could probably have it at the end and that might make it a little bit uncomfortable to 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 use but so far, to be honest, this is the only complaint that I have on this fountain pen. And in a nutshell, this is uh, the fountain pen. Not much else to add. Um, so let me draw. Uh, let me jump into a quick uh, writing sample, and then I'll go and uh, basically do try and do a drawing with or a sketch with this fountain pen. And going for a quick writing sample. For today ink, I'm actually using uh, this time uh, still a, a Bami ink or Bani, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. However, this time I'm using uh, their uh, blue black permanent ink. First time using it, let's see how good it is. I will most probably be using this fountain pen unposted. So this is. Titaner or Titaner Pencil Series Fountain Pen. This nib, uh, even though it's marked as a fine, it's uh, pretty wet and is more of a medium. But it's very wet. The flow is very good. And ink flow seems to be pretty good. And the reverse, a little bit more drier, however, seems to work. And if you slow down, ink keeps up very nice. And you get actually a very nice extra fine line. So um, 
I don't think I'm that upset that is more of a medium or normal writing because reverse gives me a very nice extra fine line. I like that. Nice. The knee works very nicely. I like it. Should be fun to use it. I'm curious if I can shade the sink. Where is some build up on it? I have some room to work over it. We'll see how it's gonna turn out with the sketch. But yeah, I like um, I like the nib. I like the ink so far. We'll see how it's gonna work out. Oh, and by the way, these uh, nibs, because it's titanium, it, there is some natural flex to them. I would call this a semi-flex nib. I'm a big fan of uh, titanium nibs, to be honest. If I could buy them for all my fountain pens, I would for sure. But yeah, it's a... Um, it's a nice. Alright, so let me go into the sketch and I'll let you know what I think of this pen and uh, if I like it or not, in case you couldn't tell yet. Another random drawing today. Well, maybe not 100% random. I had this sketch in my head uh, that I did a long time uh, ago, way, way back when I was, uh, well, in the art school and uh, I wanted to sort of a do, do it again, but slightly different and, well, more random. Kind of uh, defaulted back into this neurographic style. I kind of like it, to be honest. It's uh, relaxing. I know it's like a whole meditation and thinking behind the style and you're supposed to do it without thinking and uh, whatever. Not really into that part of it, to be honest, but I do like the idea of everything being connected like uh, nerves. And I do like to actually create something um, and then basically connect them together. Anyway, bottom line is I do like this kind of style and uh, I'm sorry if I'm gonna come back to it uh, every now and then. I also kind of like this ink. Maybe not the best thing for this kind of style because, well, it shades a lot. But I do like the sh shading <laughs> that it gives. However, it, uh, it does smudges. It takes uh, a little bit for it to dry out and unfortunately, I did end up with a few smudges. Not 100% sure I will try this thing for drawing again, but I do like it for writing, it works really nice. And uh, as for the fountain pen, it worked without any issues, literally no complaints. Nib worked uh, wonderfully, uh, flow was great and I loved that I was able to use the reverse as well. There were a few spots where I did need a finer line and uh, it worked nicely. So, what do I like about the T-Turner fountain pen? As usual, the first thing that I like is the material that is made of, titanium. As fountain pen uh, goes, I have to admit that titanium is my most favorite uh, metal. And this specific fountain pen is a serious contender to the number one uh, spot of my favorite titanium fountain pen. I'm adding a link to that review up on the right side of the screen if you're curious about it. I can't pronounce, I mean, I have no name for that pen because it didn't come branded, so I'm not sure who makes it. So basically, I pretty much like everything about a fountain pen. I like the weight that it has, the girth, and the fact that it can be posted when needed. I even like that gimmicky bre uh, breaking glass thing. And especially that is hidden away under a cap, then uh, left exposed. This way it looks a little bit more serious. And lastly, even though it doesn't come with it, I really really like that uh, number 5 titanium nib that I am using on this pen. 
if you can and you are willing to upgrade uh, the bark nib that it comes with uh, this titanium nib personally i i highly recommend it what i don't like about it there are not a lot of things that i dislike about the pen the only thing that bothers me about it it's uh, that one post that the clip it's off to the side and not in alignment with the actual nib other than that i do like everything about this pen other things that you might want to take in consideration but not really a problem for me the first thing that comes in mind uh, it's that maybe it might be on the thin side so if you do like a girthier pen this might not be for you please do check the sizes in the description maybe it will uh, help you out with your decision and the other thing that i can think of uh, is the clip um, while it's sort of a usable it will not accommodate a lot of pockets so if you use it you use a thicker um, pen uh, case where you put it in and uh, you need to clip it in you might want to take that in consideration so overall in case you could not tell yet yes i do like this font but a lot and i think that based on what uh, i paid on it this makes it a pretty good value for a fountain pen even after investing in the uh, titanium nib you can get a great slick and agile uh, fountain pen anyway i think with that this is a wrap for today if you have any other questions leave a comment below and i will try and get to it as soon as i can Thank you for joining me today and I wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.